Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2374, how to calculate only the selected cells. This is a really unusual question. Jennifer has a huge workbook, lots of sheets, lots of sum ifs formulas. It's taking four minutes to recalculate. But she noticed that after the four minutes of the totals, at the end of the first sheet, sheet A, have not updated and have to recalculate again. So now it's taking eight minutes to do everything. All right, I'm gonna show you a three line macro that you can add to your personal macro workbook. If you've never used a personal macro workbook before, go back and watch video 2373. There'll be an eye up here in the top right hand corner popping up right now that you can go watch that. All right, so here's what I have. I just have a simple little sheet, lots of ran betweens here and then totals at the right hand side. And of course on the formulas tab, if we calculate now, it calculates the, you know, everything, right? So we're gonna come into calculation options. I'm gonna right click on automatic and say, add to quick access toolbar. Come back in, right click on manual, add to quick access toolbar. Anytime that you're gonna use manual calculation mode, you need to have these two check boxes up here so you're aware if you're in manual calculation mode or not. In manual calculation mode, uh, you can change things, you can enter data and nothing will update. See, none of those formulas are recalculated uh, because we're in manual calculation mode. It doesn't recalculate until you press F9 or calculate now, and then everything calculates. In my case, it's quick, it doesn't matter. But in Jennifer's case, every time she presses calculate now, it's gonna take you know another four minutes. So I'm going to work with Jennifer to figure out why those totals aren't updating and how to make the spreadsheet faster. But for right now, we just wanna make life simpler and give Jennifer a way to update just these items. On the developer tab, you should have the developer tab if you follow the instructions in the last video. Click Visual Basic, View, Project Explorer, which is Control R, find your personal XLSB. If everything is minimized like this, click on Modules, and you should have a module there with the Hello macro that we recorded in 2173. You know, at this point, we don't need that Hello macro anymore, so you can just select all those characters and delete. We're gonna create a new macro, three lines, it's really easy. Sub, calc, selection. And what we're gonna do is say selection dot calculate. Like that, that's all you need. Click on personal and click save. And then you can file, close and return to Microsoft Excel or Alt Q. Now we need an easy way to run that macro. So up here, right click, Customize Quick Access Toolbar. There's a list of popular commands and the macro you just created is not in there. You have to come to the drop down and choose Macros and then find Calc Selection and add that to the Quick Access Toolbar. That's a goofy little icon. The icons in here aren't much better. I don't know, maybe we'll use the green check mark. Click OK. Whatever you want there. Click OK, all right. So now what we should be able to do is calculate just this range. I select that range and hit calc selection. See, and only those cells updated. And at this point, these cells are incorrect. So this is the state that Jennifer is finding herself in after doing that four minute calculation. To update just the totals without causing the entire workbook to recalculate, select the totals and then up here, calculate selection. I've only seen two workbooks in the last 30 years that were big enough to get to the point where Excel couldn't fully recalculate. I'm sure there's more. They are monster workbooks, right? And Jennifer, congratulations for having one of those, right? You know, I'm sorry you're in that position. Hopefully we'll figure it out. Excel calculates sheets alphabetically and it's really interesting. Your leftmost sheet is the first one to get calculated and then it's doing all those sheets on the right. And why doesn't it come back here? I, I don't know. I mean, that's a question that maybe Charles Williams or someone on the Excel team would know. I don't, all right? But the situation is your totals aren't getting updated. And now, thanks to this macro, we have a fast way to update those, those you know, anything. Anything, just calculate one section of the spreadsheet. Uh, you know, so now you don't have to wait four minutes if you just need a part of it calculated. At some point though, you know, like you're going to have to recalculate the, the whole thing. And that is formulas calculate now. F9 is the shortcut for that. Or I guess you could right click and add to quick access toolbar and uh, calculate now. 
All right, well, hey, I want to thank Jennifer for sending that question in. All right, well, hey, I want to thank Jennifer for sending that question in, and I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.